have David Bonson, founder and CIO of the Bonson Group of High Tower Advisors. What are your expectations? We have this jobs report, the labor force, does it grow, wages, what are you looking for particularly in this report? What would be good? What, what would be good is something that is sort of Goldilocks-ish, where it is strong enough that it points to forward direction in the economy, but not so strong that it uh, provokes the idea that the Fed may accelerate some of their, their tightening. Um, that's not expected. I really do believe it will kind of come into that middle range, but that's what the market would, would most love to see. What are your clients concerned about now? I think the biggest question that we're running into is, is the market overheated based on where this kind of Trumpian policy framework is? Where do we want to be positioned? And it's a tricky uh, place to be because the bond market scares people. W rates are so low, they're worried about them moving higher. And yet with equities, the S&P trading, 18 times earnings, there's just fear that maybe things are a bit expensive. So we just have to tell people to be selective. Mm -hmm. They, they don't want to so buy rare. the whole market. We think the energy sector is very underpriced. And of course, yesterday, oil dropping 5%. The, the, it feeds the macro fear that it's a dangerous time to be in energy. But I can't for the life of me understand why people wouldn't see this as the sweet spot for Trumpian policy. Most of what he wants to do, he can do at an executive branch level. He can deregulate across the space. And ultimately, the um, pipeline companies are, are so underserved. It's a great opportunity. Well, let's name some names, barring the Fed going rogue, which you mentioned could be a possibility, but not likely. So name some names. of You have a billion dollars under management, or roughly. What are you telling the clients specifically to invest in? Uh, we really like right now the asset managers in finance, so a company like Blackstone, a company like Invesco, that we believe are not balance sheet sensitive like the banks are, mm -hmm. the, that um, have great dividend yields, a lot of free cash flow, and haven't moved up nearly as much as a lot of the other financial companies. On the energy side, we like really high quality MLPs. Enterprise Products is one. Um, the Enbridge is one. They just announced a dividend increase yesterday that offer a growing cash flow and are not commodity price sensitive. Oil can be 45 or 55. It really shouldn't make a difference. They just keep pumping out oil, natural gas. Clients receive very nice dividends. Saw a call for 30 earlier. <laughs> All right, David, thank you for joining us and thanks for your insight. Sounding positive.